One question I get asked a lot is, when do I need to license Exchange Hybrid servers? And the first thing I ask is, why are you licensing them in the first place? Because you don't always need to license them, even if you get a free license. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about when do you get your free hybrid license? Because yes, you do get a free hybrid license or free hybrid licenses when you sign up to Office 365. But I want to talk to you first of all about when you're likely to need them. So the number one scenario where you're likely to need an exchange hybrid license is when you absolutely have to put in additional servers to be able to move your exchange mailboxes to Office 365. Now that's two core scenarios. Uh, number one is if you're running Exchange 2003. Let's hope you're not. And in that situation, you'll need to add in an Exchange 2010 server. The 2010 server is going to enable you to move to the cloud. So you'll add the 2010 server and in that situation, you'll need to use the Exchange free hybrid license to be able to put in your server, correctly license it before you move your mailboxes to the cloud. The second scenario is if you're running Exchange 2007. And remember, both of these versions of Exchange are well out of support, so let's hope you're still not. And generally, we don't see them as much in the wild these days. Again, just like 2003, 2007 doesn't have the hybrid technologies built in out of the box. So you'll definitely need to add in 2010, or in the case of 2007, perhaps a 2013 server to be able to move to the cloud. So we know that in both those scenarios, you're going to need a free Exchange hybrid license. Now, if you're running Exchange 2010 already today, then you won't need Exchange hybrid licenses because if you've got a fully licensed Exchange 2010 server, it's already got everything you need in to be able to move to the cloud. Exchange 2010 was built with the cloud in mind. The first version of Office 365 was built upon it. So it still has the hybrid configuration wizard and all the other pieces you need to be able to move your mailboxes to the cloud. And Microsoft don't recommend putting in a newer version of Exchange just to move your mailboxes. So for that scenario, you can have a free hybrid license, but not until you've moved the last mailboxes off. The same goes for newer versions of Exchange as well, because there is one place where if you're on 2010, 2013, for example, you'll probably want a 2016 license free as part of your Office 365 agreement at some point. And the point that you'll do that will be after you've moved the last mailboxes to the cloud. Because obviously as you move your mailboxes to the cloud, perhaps you've moved from 2010, then you want to get rid of these servers. Once these are gone, then you might want to have some long-term management so you can manage the mailboxes, manage the email addresses, all of the bits that are synchronized from your local Active Directory into the cloud using an Exchange server. And this is where the free hybrid license comes in because it allows you to deploy a newer version of Exchange after you've moved the last mailboxes to the cloud and then use that as your hybrid management server once the migration is complete. So when to use a hybrid license? Don't use it for 2010, 2013, 2016, but do use it when you're using 2003 and 2007. The free hybrid license will be the key to your migration. And after you've moved the last 2010 or 2013 mailboxes to the cloud, that's the point where you might put in a free hybrid license to enable ongoing management.